So I began to wonder, I just, you know, this, this was just, this was a few years of my life when I was just constantly reeling, trying to get this. I started wondering, I wonder, I wonder what I'm doing today that is because of what somebody did 200 years ago or 100 years ago. Some prayer that great, great grandma prayed about, Lord, raise up an author in this family line. <laughs> author in the sheets line. So what the Lord decided 500 years ago, 400 years ago, 200, 250 years ago, all those quotes you read last night. He can't finish what he started with this nation until this generation comes into agreement until there's some repentance, which has happened. The cleansing of, it's like, you can't undo slavery, but you can repent for it, which has happened. You can, we can never deny the fact that we broke covenant with the First Nations people and stole land from them. But you can pray a prayer of repentance, which has happened many times. And let the Lord heal that dislocation. And now bless it. We, then we can walk together again. And we can walk together arm in arm and get accomplished through this land what God had in mind. Body of Christ, ever get this? We, we, could, we could move on from our wounds and see history healed. It's not a matter of saying just get over it. It's get it under the blood. Everybody can be healed. We can move. Now blessing can flow through there. I think I'm probably way behind, but the good news is I left my phone down there and there's nothing in here that I can find, so I have no clock in the room. So... Who knows? 10 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm not sure how long I've been going. Five, maybe? Now, I can come back to that in a minute, for a few minutes, but... The Lord showed me a vision a few years ago when I, I was at a worship service. It caught me up in the spirit and... I was looking down at the earth and I saw a, a circle. And I wondered, what is he trying to show me? This circle on the ground, big circle. And you know, your mind just takes off. I have a wheel in the middle of a wheel. I, I, it, I, I don't know. Then he pulled me from here to here took me from here to here and I was looking at it from the side and I could see that what I was looking at was not a flat circle but a cylinder spiral from here it looked flat but from here I could see that it was a spiral and he said to me full circle higher level I'm bringing some things full circle, higher level. And there was a lot in me in, in that season that he was showing me that he's going to do again. But when God does something again, he always intends for it to be at a higher level of glory. If it's not going from glory to glory, it's probably not God. Because we go from strength to strength, faith to faith, strength to strength, the Bible says. The path of the righteous gets brighter and brighter. We go from glory to glory. So, full circle, higher level. And I started preaching about signs and wonders, another, another uh, season of those, harvest, revival, but higher level. And I mentioned this in a meeting. And a spirit-filled 
Messianic rabbi came up to me after the um, meeting and he said, I was fascinated by that vision because he said, uh, that's the way we believe time is in God, not linearly, but cyclically. He said, I believe you saw time. He said, we even believe that God puts things in time in the sense that it will repeat itself. For example, this, this time every year, Passover season, for example, you can more easily tap into this anointing because God put it there in time. I'm not saying I, I know that's true. That's what he said. And he said, he began to talk to me and he said, do you know the meaning of the word testimony? Have you ever studied the Hebrew word for testimony? Is what he said. Do you know what it means? And I said, I mean, I, my first thought was, of course I know what a testimony is. But I knew he knew some things I didn't. So I said, no, I've never studied that. He said, well, testimony in Hebrew does not mean to talk about what happened in the past. It only. The word literally means not say, but do again. To redo or do again. Because he said, we believe that when you talk about what God did yesterday, power is released into the now for him to do it again. And he said, one of the reasons we're so big on teaching our children our history, I'm talking to you about the power of history. One of the reasons we're so big on teaching them and we, what we believe God said so carefully teach them history is we don't just believe it's something for them to know, but we believe when we tell them the story of the Exodus, the very same power is released again when we talk about it to bring deliverance to them today in whatever area of their life they need. The spirit of deliverance is in it when we say it, when we talk about it. And he said, with the revelation that I have now as a believer in Messiah and Holy Spirit and all that comes with that, I've been meditating on this and he said, I've been putting some things to the test in this area just to check it out and I've been seeing people healed just from me sending individuals to them not to pray for them but just to stand up and go every day and, talk to, and say over them their testimony of healing over and over again and people been he said I've been seeing people healed just from hearing the testimony not just because faith comes to them but because power is being released every time they say it And things start, I start connecting dots in Scripture. And I thought, well, maybe this is why he said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Maybe every time you talk about what he did in your past, some power for today is released. Maybe it's why we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We believe it in communion. When you take that cup and that bread, it's the only you're not just supposed to be doing something that makes you f love him more. You're supposed to experience the power of the new covenant every time you do that. When you talk about what he did and you, and, and you redo that act of covenant, you're supposed to be healed, he said. <laughs> 